Hi everyone, I've been playing around with voice control in Right Booth, so I've added some more features. Uh, let's see if it works. Let me play the event. So while I'm playing the event, I'm not going to touch the system. So let's see if this works. Hello Booth. That takes me to the second screen in the event, and that's just got a little bit of information on about what's going to happen when I say next. So here are two options. I'm just going to say, take a photo. And right booth just takes me through standard photo. I see the photo, it thanks me, and it takes me back to the start screen. Now notice I'm talking and it's not interacting with the system until I say, hello booth. This is the second screen, next. Right, this time I'm going to record a video and it's going to record a 20 second video. Now notice while I'm talking it's not interacting in terms of uh, voice control but if I say stop video the video stops. Now notice while I'm talking it's not interacting in terms of uh, voice control but if I say stop video So it's quite powerful is this, I think it can be used in lots of situations where you don't want to interact with the equipment. Um, let's show you how I've implemented it. So now I'm back to using the system. Let's have a look at settings. So let's go into user input settings and here you can see a new section, voice, and you literally just have to tick this checkbox and you will get voice control in your events. But you can also do some tests here to see which words work well for you. So I've got one, two, and three listed here. Let's just try them. One. That was a 96% recognition there. Two. 97. Notice it comes up with unrecognized occasionally because it's constantly checking what I'm saying. And if it doesn't match any of the words that are on this screen, it will just ignore them. So if I say system donkey three okay so here is a good way of checking things like start recording or take a photo or go back let's try those take a photo 87 percent there go back 54 percent go back 79% so you can practice here and set the confidence threshold at the level at which it will reject things if uh, it doesn't get them correctly so that's the testing but what about the actual event itself how do you edit it so that it can recognize words let's go and have a look at that so let's go into the event here we're looking at the start screen and we've got some label items and the webcam item on it. Now, this is the important one. This label item is to be used as a voice command. So any text that's in this label item will be used as a voice command. Now, how, do, how does Rightmove know that that is the only one that's a voice command? Well, any label item on any screen that's got a click action will be used as a voice command by right booth. So on this screen there is only one label item that's got a click action and the click action is next screen and that will take us to the hello screen. Now I added this myself, this is a user defined screen which we just use, I'm just using as an information screen to let the users know what's going to happen. Again on this screen there are label items but only this one has got a click action next screen. This one doesn't have a click action. So on this screen right booth will only look for the word next as a voice command. So when you say next on this screen as you saw it will take you to the choose recording screen. Now on this screen there are two label items and each one of these label items has got a click action. This one is a video action and this one 
is a photo action. So these are the standard uh, labels that you get on the choose recording screen. So when this screen is showing, Right Booth will be listening for record a video or take a photo. And that's all it will be looking for. And that will trigger the next screen and obviously to take you through the rest of the event. Now on the record video screen, normally you speak for 20 seconds and when the 20 seconds is up, it times out and moves on. But this one I've added so that you can cancel, or should I say stop the recording sooner. And literally, I just have a click action on that label, which is next screen. And that acts as a way of stopping the video recording sooner. And that's it. It's, it's that simple. Um, you literally just add labels to various screens and give them actions. And that's what Rightbooth will look for when the voice option is ticked in settings. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know what you think.